Welcome gardeners. Well, the sun has actually gotten out today, so it's not cold. We've done a lot of work. And one of the things we've done is we've planted our bulb onions. All of this right here is bulb onions. And this stake is separating them from the shallots over here. Now, this is my dibber, which used to be a rake handle until the rake no longer wanted to work for me. So I pulled the rake off, and now I use this to draw drills. Remember, that's furrows in English. And I can also use it to make holes. For example, if I were still planting onions, I plant on these triangles. See how we have a nice regular triangle here? I'll try to put one right out here. I can just push down, work it, and now I have a nice little hole to plant my plugs that I've been growing. Now, keeping on top of weeds, that's the theme of March and April. And I know it's April Fool's Day, but we're going to have to still talk about weeds and it's not a joke. Let me show you a weed that I pulled up while I was planting. He's a nice little innocuous weed, isn't he? Wouldn't harm a fly. Well, if you just cut him off, you don't see all of this root here below. Look at that. This is why, as much as many people don't like it, hand weeding is sometimes necessary. You've got to get in there and pull them out. Now, a combination of our Razorback, which I showed you last time, the edging tool, and I'll go get that. The Razorback, assembled in America, we use to edge this out here. As you can see, this row, and there's a lot of stuff torn up. We used, we used a hoe to hit them from inside the bed to pull it up against that lip that I had cut right here. As you can see, it goes down about four or five inches. And this way, I was able to sever a lot of roots. And as you can see how deep the roots have gone here on these weeds. I know, it was called a yard last year. Well, they're called weeds now. Keep at those weeds. Plant the right way. I like making uh, holes with my diver, and I think everything will go all right. Start good, sensitive crops inside, and after three or four weeks, you can plant them in those holes and they'll be ready to go. All right? Happy gardening. Thanks. And by the way, if you're not in the class and you still like it, hit that like button, share, and even uh, join the site as, as a subscriber. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks much.